Part two. A priest from Coventry went to Germany in 1960, I think it was, and he said how pleased he was that the Germans were taking responsibility for their war crimes and repenting. Some Germans said to him, good, so what are you Britain, British people going to do about Dresden? He didn't know anything about Dresden. In Coventry, the German air raids had killed over 800 people. In Dresden, after the air raids by the British and Americans, they had identified 30,000 bodies and tens of thousands more had either been burnt to ashes or had been buried in mass graves to avoid the risk of disease breaking out. When he heard what we had done in Dresden, he said, Coventry Cathedral must send the group to Dresden. But it was not simple. The British didn't want to know that it was not only the Germans who had committed war crimes, that our bombing raids were also war crimes. The West Germans didn't want us to go into the communist zone the East Germans didn't want their fine socialist youth to be corrupted by decadent Western capitalist Christian youth. But the priest said, it's God's will, so they will have to let us do it. And they negotiated for five years. And after five years, the permission came for Coventry to send a group of volunteers to work in the Deaconesses Hospital in Dresden from March until October. And various groups went. The first group included long-term volunteers and also a group of students who went out for the first three weeks. I almost fell into that group by accident. I was accepted before I knew it. So I went, not able to speak German. In Dresden, we were working with young German Christians who had not been able to study at university because as Christians they had not joined the communist youth organization. And I thought, what a sacrifice. My greatest ambition had been to get to university and I thought, but these will be heroes of the faith. They have given up their chance to go to university for love of God. What surprised me even more was they didn't think they were particular heroes. They said, if God doesn't give us one thing, he gives us another. And I realized I had a lot to learn from Christians living in difficult situations. And so I wanted to go to other socialist countries and meet Christians there and learn from them. And I began to do it.